Similar to LPUs, regardless of whether you have an automated or a manual Merlin CLA, you will use a surgical lens as part of your system. As mentioned, there are three lens designs for the Merlin surgical system. While each lens provides amazingly crisp and detailed images, each design provides unique benefits for outstanding flexibility when viewing the retina. First is the wide-angle lens. This lens is used for wide-field imaging of the retina during vitrectomy and is the primary working lens for most physicians because of the very crisp, clear, wide views it provides. Next is the small-diameter, wide-angle lens. It's also used for wide-field imaging of the retina during vitrectomy. However, this lens has a smaller profile with a diameter that is two-thirds that of the standard wide-angle lens. Although this lens has a smaller diameter, it still provides 94% of the field of view that the larger wide-angle lens has and keeps the same magnification. The smaller profile provides advantages when operating on patients with anatomies that inhibit the use of the larger diameter lens. This lens may also provide advantages in cases where operating instruments must be held more vertically, such as with patients with elongated globes. The third lens is called the midfield lens. It provides both increased magnification of the retina and a substantial view of the periphery. The hybrid design of this lens was based on physician preference input. The midfield lens has 70% more magnification than the wide angle lens, while maintaining nearly 80% of the field of view. Thus, it allows detailed stereoscopic viewing of the macular region and posterior pole while maintaining views of the periphery. The surgical lens is attached to the LPU and then suspended directly over the patient's eye when viewing the retina. All three lenses provide an inverted image of the retina that is subsequently corrected using a reinverter device such as the Volk Rolls Infinity. The lenses are easily installed and removed. Simply insert the lens post into the hole at the bottom of the LPU and gently press in until you feel a click. The lens can be inserted in any orientation. Once inserted, gently rotate the lens until you feel another click. At that point, the lens is properly oriented in the LPU and will be centered in the optical path. Remove the lens by gently pulling the lens from the LPU. The Merlin surgical lenses have a safety hinge that allow the lens to move upward freely if it contacts an object beneath it. Optimal location for the best field of view with any of the three lens models is about 5 millimeters or about a quarter inch above the cornea. However, the distance of the lens from the cornea is always at the physician's discretion. Note that the further away the lens is from the cornea, the smaller will be the resulting field of view. The Merlin lenses are always sterilized before use in the surgical field and are completely compatible with steam sterilization. Instructions for proper cleaning and sterilization are included in the instruction manual for the Merlin surgical system. During surgery, the LPU is switched between its up and down positions depending on which part of the eye the physician needs to see. The LPU can switch to its up position in either direction. The LPU is in the up position when the physician needs to view the exterior of the eye, typically called the corneal view. The LPU is in the down position when the physician needs to view the retina.